Spack and Kill hosting Liberty in a non-league season opener and a flag-filled field of penalties. Both sides of the ball were having issues with the rules of the game, and it was costly. Just as the third quarter was ending, Liberty was making some positive progress. As Chris Bayer hits Bobby McLeod on a sideline route for a big 40-yard gain. And in the early stages of the fourth quarter, here comes Kamani Dennis with lots of running room. But this one was called back for an illegal block. Spackenkill's turn to break the 14-14 tie. Nasir Milligan shakes and bakes his way for a 15-yard gain. And then gets help from Anthony Sassano and Joe Marcinelli, who carry him to a 21-yard gain. And from there, Milligan takes it in. Spack and Kill leads 21-14 with less than five minutes remaining in the game. But Liberty is back on the move as Joe Lazinski breaks it out to the sidelines and takes it 16 yards for a first down. Bear finds his favorite receiver McLeod and that puts the Indians inside the 10 with 2.42 remaining. Back and Kill's defense holds up and makes it 4th and 3 for the Indians, but they're going to go for it. A keeper by Dennis, and Liberty is back. It's 21-20, and the Indians decide to go for broke. The two-point conversion works, and Liberty leads 22-21 after trailing in this game 14-0. Still time left for Spack and Kill to cover some ground. A reverse to Milligan, charges Spack and Kill towards the end zone. And then the reverse the other way, but Lewinson keeps it this time and is headed for the end zone. But wait, there's a flag on the field and that brings the play back. From there, Liberty runs out the clock for a dramatic 22-21 road win on the Feldman, Clyde and Coffee Safe and Reagan Bomb scoreboard. What did you tell the team afterwards? Um, you know, like the first game, I told them all week comes down to penalties, turnovers, and conditioning. And we lost in all three phases. Give credit to Liberty. They were better. Um, and we just got to correct our mistakes and get pick our heads up and get ready for next week. One of the toughest losses you can have. First game at, out of the shoot to have that kind of a loss. How do you guys respond? What do you as a leader need to do to get this team back up on and get their head straight? Um, definitely take a lot of time going into film and really seeing where we picked up. I mean, where we fell off and where we can get better. Because there's there was a lot of mental mistakes out there tonight that really wasn't us. Yeah. We, we could have did a lot of things a lot better than we did. You're running down the field for that touchdown that would have been the game winner. Uh, just take me through that. What the play was, what you were feeling, and what you felt when it was called back. Um, play was 235 counter crisscross. Usually I'll hand it off to Nasir, but I pulled it on that one. Um, coming around the edge, I saw the guy, gave him a little move. I get to the second level. I think it was 11. Give him another little move. I get into it. All I see is nothing but green. I'm so excited. I put my hand in the air. And I'm celebrating. I celebrate with everyone. The it finally clears. And I see the flag on the floor. <laughs> the heart drops because you know it's coming back. And those, those ones are devastating. Always. It's, and they always happen. But it's, it's all part of the process. We're going to get it together.